I'm Jens Lindemann. Welcome to Hamamatsu, Japan, home of the Yamaha factory, the most advanced factory in the entire world. Now, in my hands, I'm holding a piece of ordinary brass sheet metal. This doesn't look like much right now, but in the hands of the trained Yamaha experts, they can turn this into the bell of a professional quality trumpet in one day. For the purpose of our video, we're going to do it in 12 minutes. Come on inside and watch how it's done. At the Yamaha factory, there's a great deal of work that goes... Um, I first started playing the trumpet because I wanted to be a drummer. And you had to pick the trumpet or the clarinet in junior high band. And the best musicians could decide after two weeks if they wanted to be trumpet players. Um, I was dead last out of 20 trumpet players in the test, and I wanted to quit. But my mother said, you'll have to play for one year. And at the end of the year, you can decide if you want to quit or not. By the end of the year, I was hooked. Mr. Matsuura-san, who is going to take the piece of metal and bend it and hammer it around this iron rod at this station. This, my friends, is where the art begins. Now that we've finished bending the metal into the shape of a bell, come on over here and I'll show you the hand hammering stage of this instrument. This is my new friend, Tokotomi-san, who's going to be working with a piece of metal that's a little bit darker than mine. Uh, that is because this bell has been annealed. It's a process where they heat the bell up so that it's much easier to work with. It becomes softer so that he can hand hammer more easily. But most importantly, the annealing process helps give Yamaha bells the beautiful tonal quality that we've come to expect from these instruments. Mr. Nakajima here has a very important job at Yamaha. He places the bell of every trumpet on top of this mandrel and then ensures that the exact thickness for the bell material is attained so that you have a perfect Zeno trumpet. Yoshikamaro, Mr. Nakajima. That means go for it in Japanese. Have you ever wondered how we go from a straight trumpet bell to the bend at the bottom? Well, Mr. Nakagawa has a very important job at Yamaha. He pours a metal down the end of the bell, which then solidifies, but is very malleable. It bends quite easily, and that will allow him to work with this machine and bend it into the shape that we're used to seeing. Now, he's able to bend the bell of the instrument right here without snapping the metal. Very effective. Have you ever wondered how the engraving ends up on the bell of a Yamaha trumpet? Most instrument manufacturers tend to stamp it on there, which compromises the quality of the metal. But at Yamaha, every single trumpet is treated with a high-tech engraving unit like this one. Now here we have an example of fantastic 21st century technology. This machine takes a raw piece of brass like this and starts to shave it down so that eventually it comes out as the final mouthpiece product, which is exactly what we end up with in the trumpet case. Now, even if the metal on the drill bit starts to wear down with time, the computer automatically recalibrates immediately so that every Yamaha mouthpiece comes out absolutely perfectly ready to play. <laughs> Now we're going to enter Yamaha's custom shop, where prototype instruments are built, as well as the occasional custom order. There are many great craftsmen here at the Yamaha custom shop, and one that I'd like to introduce you in particular is Nagai-san. Nice to see you again. 
Nagai-san puts together the final touches on custom Zeno horns that come through the pro shop just to make sure everything fits absolutely perfectly and sounds great. Let's try one of the horns he's been putting together today. That feels like a great trumpet, believe me. Once in a while, the great designers at Yamaha just like to build things for fun. As you can see, clearly, this is not a normal sized instrument. Let's see what it sounds like. Pretty good. I think I'll take this one home. You can just put it in your pocket and leave. Now here we're at a stage where we're going to be putting the valve casings of the trumpet together. I have some new friends at Yamaha, Hasegawa-san, Takamore-san, Mizuno-san, and Shirai-san. Now their job is to take a pasty material. You can see Shirai-san is applying it to the edges of the valve casings. That is then put on a conveyor belt, which is going to go into a very hot oven here. In the oven, that pasty material will hold all the valve casings together. It's a modern type of soldering technique. It's also very, very hot at over 800 degrees Celsius, so I think I'm going to stop my tour right here. Now here you can see Mr. Takahashi is putting together valve casings with two types of material. The top of the valve casing is actually nickel plated, and that's what Yamaha uses for their special line of trumpets known as the Zeno line of instruments. Now here we have the final assembly line for Yamaha's professional model of trumpet known as the Zeno. You can see it's stamped right here on the bell, X-E-N-O. Let's have a look at the work that the folks are doing here. Parts are precision made for a perfect fit. Soldering is a difficult art form. Their years of experience let Yamaha artisans know exactly how long to heat, the amount of heat, and how much solder to use during this process. You remember the day you got your first brand new trumpet and you opened up the case and you saw how shiny it was? Well, you have Mr. Suzuki-san to thank for that. Mr. Suzuki is the one who personally buffs every single trumpet that goes through the Yamaha factory before it ends up in your trumpet case. One of the great things that I've noticed in, since playing Yamahas in high school is that there has been a natural evolution uh, of the horns themselves over the years. I've been fortunate to get to work with some specific designers of the trumpets and watch literally how the horns have grown from very good professional models to uh, the kinds of horns that they are now, which are even better professional models. And uh, the consistency is absolutely impeccable. Now here we're going to show you how the raw brass instrument which is highly buffed already, is dipped into this liquid and passes around a conveyor belt. It's a two-hour process, which then results in a finished lacquered instrument. It's not the kind of bath you want to take, trust me.